I very much welcome the publication of the report and commend Justice Smithick and his team for almost eight years of work. It's a 450 page report. I haven't read it all. I've scanned through it and been briefed on some of the conclusions. I also think the government did the right thing and I commend the government for uh, fulfilling the obligation that it entered into at Weston Park in 2001. And that means of all the reports commissioned, only one is outstanding, and that of course is the report into the killing of human rights lawyer Pat Finucan, and the British government have vigorously and robustly refused to honour their commitment at that time. So I think, and I said this to the Tanish today, you know, we need to be mobilising our diplomatic services, we need to, inter to be mobilising international support, to be assertively lobbying the British government to fulfil their part of this agreement at Weston Park. In relation to the report, I mean, first of all, I'm very mindful that at the heart of all of this, there are two families, the Breen and Buchanan families, and you know, these were men who were killed, their families were robbed of them, and uh, we have to be sensitive to all of the trauma that this report uh, may throw up. I cooperated with Smithick and did my best to assist Smithick. I uh, did so and other Republicans did so because they did want to try and bring some measure of closure. You know, families of victims do have the right to have closure and if we can assist in doing that informally or formally, that's what some of us have been trying to do. There is a contradiction in the report. You know, on, on, on the one hand, Justice Mythic says that uh, he has found no evidence of collusion, no direct evidence of collusion. And then later he goes on uh, to say on the on balance that uh, there has been collusion by one or more unidentified Guardy, and that appears to me to be based on speculation, on on challenged intelligence uh, reports. Uh, I read the part of the report which was contributed independently, obviously by the RUC and by Garda officers, and then by IRA volunteers who came forward and spoke to Justice Smith and his uh, team. And it strikes me, and I have been challenged on this by Michal Martin, that these two men, very well known and working in a very intense period of the conflict in which there were incidents of grave uh, intensity nearly every day, were coming back and forth to Dundalk Garda Station. The IRA have said that they were spotted, that they were monitored from a house which had sight of the station, that there was a routine to what they uh, were doing. Now, for me, I believe that's how they uh, ended up in a South Armagh concession road, and this is the heart of Republican South Armagh, and how they were uh, Kills. And you know, it's, it's, it's regrettable. I've said very clearly these were brave men doing what they would have considered to be their duty. That's no consolation to their families. In the same way as IRA volunteers would see themselves as doing uh, their duty. And thankfully, Nilian Kogu Moy, there's no such thing as a good war. And there's no such thing as a, a Shehana Donna. There's no such thing as a bad peace. So we now have peace, the war's over, it's done with, it's finished. And uh, I, I have put it to the government, as have other Sinn Féin representatives, that rather than this drip feed of tribunal or inquest or inquiry, why not bring in an international agency which can put together an entirely independent process of truth recovery, which is victim-centred, and which looks at all of these 
way all of these uh, actions and their causes and so, so on in a way which is therapeutic which is about building the peace which is about moving to the future which is about ensuring that the peace is not an obstacle to a decent future for the vast majority of people who live in this island because we all deserve we all deserve uh, the opportunity to shape out a new harmonious relationship and a just and decent and fair society for the people of this island. You came under sustained attack and criticism in the Dáil this morning. Um, how do you respond to the likes of Michal Martin and members of the Labour Party? Well, I'd, I'd, on one hand you can't take them too seriously because they are engaging in posturing and in political opportunism and they, they reduce all of these matters to that type of uh, attack. I mean, I reminded the doll that all of the main parties represented in the Oireachtas came from that period of armed struggle uh, from, I suppose, 1916 onwards or maybe the period from the turn of the century up into 1914 and so on. Uh, you know, and there's, you can't have this silliness that, that they have that in some way the IRA of the 1970s IRA, which is now left, the IRA, which actually uh, signed up for a peace process and put itself out of business, is the bad old IRA, and that you know those in Michal Martin's city or county uh, were throwing powder puffs at the auxiliaries. You know, you, you, you can't you can't have the good old IRA that Michael Collins in some way, you know, that 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 he was killing people in a nicer way. The fact is that war is not nice. Thankfully, it's ended. So for these uh, people to engage in revisionism, to uh, you know, pretend, and they know it isn't, isn't the case. And also, let's bear in mind, they're the people who stayed out, stood idly by. They're the people who abandoned uh, everybody in the North, Unionist and the rest of us. They're the people who, 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 who didn't develop or argue or push a peaceful democratic way forward, a, a way of, of shining a light on the injustices which left a section of people open to the argument that physical force or armed struggle or armed actions were the only way that they could go forward to uphold their own dignity and to protest about what was going on.